Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stalosa, and before we get into today's video, I have an announcement. The live stream, it starts today, and it is on a regular schedule. You can see on the screen right now, this is my sort of holding image on the Twitch sort of video play when I'm not streaming. This contains the information. Wednesday to Sunday, 6 p.m. GMT, which is 11 a.m. PST, which is 2 p.m. EST, which is 7 p.m. CET. Now, this is going to be a bit more confusing as time goes on because uh, I think in the UK, we're pretty close to changing to BST, so then I'll have to update the times. But whatever time is 6 p.m. in the UK is when this stream will go live. And this is the start of my regular streaming. We're going to do competitive. We're going to do giveaways. In fact, I think we're going to do some giveaways with Jinx, the clothing company, um, on this stream tonight. So if you are a sub to the stream, watch out for that. But yes, guys, it is twitch.tv forward slash unit lost. Make sure you check it out. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to get back into regular streaming. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, right, let's talk about Arissa because um, there is a lot of discussion going on about Arissa being OP, about Arissa replacing Reinhardt, about Arissa doing too much damage, about Arissa being amazing, doing such and such and etc. etc. Can we just calm down for a minute? She has been out for one day on the live service and she's not been used in competitive. Now, if you don't play competitive, like whatever that's cool but that's the way the heroes are balanced that is where blizzard will gather the information on orissa and how she, if she is op if she does replace reinhardt what i can tell you from my experience of playing her an absolute shed load on the ptr yeah, and yes i know it's the ptr it's not live it's not competitive i mean playing her right now in quick play is actually way better than on ptr because the problem with ptr was there's not enough players. So if I went into a PTR game, you know, I'm sitting there at like 4.2k rated and I'll look at the other people in the team and they'll be like, you know, low goal players. There might be some other Grandmaster players and it, it's basically all over the place. So that makes it very difficult to test her because what can happen is if a very good player is playing Orissa, like let's say, I don't know, a master level player is on Orissa against a platinum player. The master player is a much better player. So can make Orissa appear ridiculously OP. Now, I have a Discord group, which is beautiful. I think if you go to discord.gg forward slash unit lost, you can join the group. And in that group, there was a lot of initial knee-jerk reactions. It was like, oh my god, Orissa, she's just, she replaces Reinhardt. She does way too much damage. This is crazy. And I said in the chat group, is this based off one match? And they were like, yeah, it was. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute. Why do people do this? Like these, these sort of ridiculous reactions to like, oh my god, something is new. It is totally broken. What do I think about Arissa? Well, I've covered Arissa quite a lot in various videos, and actually yesterday's video does give you some pretty solid tips on how to get used to playing Arissa. The biggest thing I've been seeing, though, is Arissa replaces Reinhardt. She doesn't. There's two... Well, there's a very strong distinction to be made between these two heroes. Arissa is an anchor tank, at least what Blizzard describes as an anchor tank. Reinhardt is an anchor tank. The idea behind this is tanks which hold down an area. What that means is that they control an area. They control a choke. And we all know Overwatch maps are designed with chokes all over them. So Reinhardt fits into it very well. And more often than not, his actual barrier fits exactly into the choke, which is not a coincidence. That's a game design thing. And uh, Arissa is pretty much the same thing. But what is the major difference between these two heroes? Well, Arissa is a stationary anchor tank. She's stationary. She drops her barrier and then she plays around the barrier. When Arissa has no barrier, she is done for. She is absolutely dead. Even if you're using Fortify, which honestly you use Fortify to get out of sticky situations when your barrier has been destroyed a lot of the time. Or you use it to try and get rid of a crowd control effect. So if you know Reinhardt is going to charge into you, you quickly pop Fortify so he just bounces off you as if you're a wall and then you kill him. Or if he's going to earth shatter you, you do the same thing. Or you know Roadhog's about to hook you or any kind of crowd control effect. Or you can see Anna about to fire a sleep dart at you. Yeah, it's great for that, but it doesn't make you just invincible. Yes, it gives you 50% damage reduction, but it doesn't make you invincible. So when her barrier is gone, she's very vulnerable. Now look at Reinhardt. Reinhardt is a mobile anchor tank and Reinhardt is just a much better tank. Reinhardt has a 2000 HP barrier that he can deploy when he feels like. Yeah, it takes damage and yes, he has to recharge it, but it is with Reinhardt and Reinhardt is actually quite mobile compared to Orissa. Now, compared to the other tanks, you can say Reinhardt isn't the most mobile. He's got his charge. In fact, you could probably say he's more mobile than... Roadhog, I would argue that maybe uh, Zarya is a little bit more mobile than him because she can uh, bunny hop with her, her right click. And obviously, Diva and Winston, well, they're super mobile. But compared to Orissa, Reinhardt is extremely mobile. And this is why Reinhardt is going nowhere. Because if Orissa 
puts her barrier in a position which is not great, well then you're screwed. With Reinhardt, if he's in a bad position, it doesn't necessarily matter too much because his barrier is connected to him and it's for 2000 HP, which means he can absorb the damage if he's caught out of, out of position. It also means he can quickly move to another position and put his barrier back up. So don't think that Arissa replaces Reinhardt because she doesn't. She does some very different things though, and one of those is pump out a considerable amount of damage. Now, there is a very, very... Oh, we've got to really look at the damage of Orissa because it's not... I don't think it's OP damage. It's very high damage. Like, if you watched one of my earlier Orissa videos, I was quite concerned with the fact she generally puts out as much damage as she absorbs. Now, if you're putting out 20,000 damage as a tank and absorbing 20,000 damage, that is... Uh, that's insane. I mean, that's like... Reinhardt levels of, of barrier absorption in a standard game, but Reinhardt is not doing 20,000 damage unless it is some sort of ungodly brawl which is breaking out every single time there's a fight. Blizzard did though after that, uh, I'm not saying after my video obviously, but they did actually reduce, after I made those comments, they reduced uh, her magazine size to 150 from 200, so she in effect does less damage. But what we've got to look at is where that damage is actually going, right? And is it effective damage? Well, in a way, it's pretty much like Junkrat damage because she is quite difficult to hit targets that are moving fast with. Uh, this is because she's got a fairly slow moving projectile. Yes, it is a constant stream of bullets, but it moves really slow, so it is hard to hit like any kind of fast moving target. Yes, you can use your mini Graviton Pulse to, or Graviton Surge to pull them together and fire into them, which is a nice tactic you can do. But generally, a lot of her damage is going into the other Orissa's barrier, into a Reinhardt barrier or into tanks. Now, she isn't at the point where she can just burn a tank down, but she does provide pretty good damage. It's much better than, let's say, chip damage. It's better than like a Soldier 76 body shot, in, at least I would argue. It might not be on paper, but because of the constant stream of damage, it is quite off-putting. Uh, obviously, she can headshot, so she can do quite a lot of damage. And that's kind of the main distinction between these two tanks when it comes to their kind of kit in a way. Reinhardt is more tanky. Orissa does more damage. Orissa has got a very interesting kit, though. When you look at Fortify, that's a very strong ability for preventing crowd control on herself, which means she can sort of do... Um, different things that other tanks can't do. She can drop her barrier, which is being recharged the moment it is dropped. It's only a 900 HP barrier, but yet a lot of the time she can sort of replenish the barrier when it's about to get destroyed. So you could argue that's actually a 180, well, an 1800 point barrier, which is pretty strong. Then she's got a very good ranged weapon. She has her halt ability, which is her, honestly, I think her best ability that she's got, um, which does disrupt the enemy team and can be used to pull Reinhardt up in the air so you can earth shatter under their barriers and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and then she's got her ultimate, which is Supercharger. Now, her ultimate is 50% damage buff as of recording of this video. Um, maybe this will change, who knows. That is extremely good because it's to everybody in line of sight. So that means wherever you put this Supercharger down, if it can see a member of your team, it gives them a nice blue sort of Mercy damage beam, only it's for 50% damage, not 30% uh, like Mercy uh, boost you for, which is very powerful. If you compare that to Reinhardt, well, Reinhardt's ultimate is... Again, a very powerful ultimate. I mean, Earth Shatter is probably up there one of the best ultimates. It's a bit janky the way it works because it can Earth Shatter people in the air and when they're on high ground, even though you're Earth Shattering the low ground, so it's a bit weird. But it is still a very powerful ultimate because it can just kill an enemy team. Um, much like, I think, Supercharger. But you can see there the difference, right? I think in the ultimates. Earth Shatter does not really do... It does a little bit of damage, but it doesn't destroy people, right? It knocks them down. It sets them up to be destroyed. It's a defensive, yet it can be used offensively, right? It's a setup ultimate. It's like Graviton Surge. Then if you look at Orissa, her ultimate just increases damage, which goes in line with the way Orissa sort of works. She does more damage. It's very interesting. Like I just want you guys to not think Orissa replaces Reinhardt because Orissa reinhardt combinations are fantastically strong because you've got a tank which can put out a lot of damage into enemy barriers while also having a tank who has a 2000 HP barrier with the Orissa. So you've got that high damage output, you've got the 900 HP barrier, which you can cycle with the Reinhardt. And again, I've covered this in various videos. So I think it's going to be really, really interesting. Orissa, I can't wait to see how she's going to be used because she, her, basically guys, right, her halt ability is going to change the game because it moves people around. It moves you out of a defensive position. And if that can be used in... Um, to great effect, which I think it will be. We're going to see a lot of standard defensive positions that literally don't work anymore because Aris is just going to throw you off the map or pull you out of position and then just kill you. It's going to be, you know what? It's going to be phenomenal. I can't wait to see how this plays out. But of course, all of this depends on when she goes into competitive. And right now, she's not available on, available on competitive. So this gives you guys a chance. 
if you've not played her on the PTR and if you're playing on console to play Orisa in quick play. And I recommend that you do it. What I would recommend as well is don't leave the game even if somebody picks Orisa, right? Because playing against her, you'll get to see how she works. Because the last thing I want to touch on in this video is people saying that Orisa is pretty much unkillable. There was a comment I noticed, again, this was in my Discord, and it was, Orisa is fantastically OP on King of the Hill. Now, I don't think Orisa's strongest map type is King of the Hill. I don't think she's too good on Nepal and Li Zhang because, um, it's kind of, she can easily be flanked and that's not great. Like on payload maps, on hybrid maps and stuff where she's pushing forward or she's defending the point, most of the time she can kind of keep what she needs to keep in front of her, which is great. On King of the Hill, it can kind of get a bit mixed up. Like if you look at uh, Nepal Shrine, for example, it's very easy to flank there. So she can get taken out from behind. Orisa is quite vulnerable. This is the last thing I, I absolutely want to stress in this video. She is very vulnerable. She is not a super solid tank that can take an astronomical amount of damage. She can when she's behind a barrier and she's got a barrier in reserve ready to redeploy and she's got Fortify available. When she doesn't have those abilities available, she is dead to two Widow headshots. She is dead to Soldier 76 surprisingly fast. Her headshot hitbox is massive. It is massive. It must be one of the biggest ones in the game. It is just ridiculous, right? You can headshot her really easily. Like, you can just burn through her. So I don't think, like, a tra like, look at a Tracer example, right? Tracer goes in onto Orisa. Tracer can burn Orisa down surprisingly quick. Yes, Orisa can use Halt to knock her around, but she can still burn her down pretty quick, but Tracer can. So I don't think that's much of an issue. Just don't try and go crazy with knee-jerk reactions just yet, guys. She doesn't replace Reinhardt. She does do a good amount of damage, but she's a very different hero in this game. Is she going to work her way into standard compositions? I'm not sure about that. When you look at a lot of dive comps which are going on, uh, Arissa doesn't really... Well, she don't really fit in dive comps because she moves really slow and she doesn't really have anything to sort of supplement a dive comp attack because, well, I mean, you've got Winston and D.Va for that and uh, Zarya, so hmm, very interesting. Anyway, guys... Let me know what you think about Arissa in the comments below, your initial early thoughts. And be honest, right? If you want to make a knee-jerk reaction in the comments, go for it. Let's just see what happens because sometimes people do feel very strongly about things. Hell, I've done this in the past. I've made knee-jerk reactions on stuff. But if you feel very strongly about it, comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you a Reinhardt player? Do you feel threatened by Arissa? Are you a Tracer player or a Soldier 76 or a Widow player? Are you happy that Arissa's here? Or are you a Hanzo player because you can suddenly just wreck Arissa because, well, she's such a massive target to hit? Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stylosa and this is Unit Lost. Remember, my live stream is starting today if you're watching this video on the day of upload. The details are on the screen right now uh, of when I go live, which is Wednesday to Sunday, 6 p.m. GMT, 11 a.m. PST, 2 p.m. EST, and 7 p.m. CET. I'll see you on the stream, guys, and you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. Toodaloo.